<laughs> hey guys, I wanted to just do a video to show you how to use mockups uh, using Photoshop. So, um, in this case, I'm showing you if you have a design that you're putting on uh, multiple colors of shirts and multiple, uh, if you have like multiple items, like a tank top and a shirt in this, is, in this instance. So, um, what I do to kind of make my workflow a little bit easier is I open up all the colors and, uh, apparel items I'm going to use for this particular design. So, and once I have, for this one, I have, uh, two shirts and two tank top colors. Um, I really don't recommend using more than three. If you're going to do like three shirts and three uh, uh, tank colors, I think there's, uh, I wouldn't do more than that because you giving the customer too much options sometimes makes it hard for them to make a decision. So, um, but this one, once you open up um, your items, if you go to window, arrange, and do four up, it will bring them all into uh, their own separate boxes. Okay. Uh, if you need to like uh, zoom in, you can always go here and make it, you know, you can make them a little bit bigger or whatnot. So, um, um, or you can always go to the navigator uh, window. If you don't have this one open, you can just go to window. Uh, navigator and it'll open it up because this is a way if you click it'll show you which one you're on and you can you know zoom in zoom out click and it shows you which uh, file that you are that is highlighted so uh, so these are my four mockups I'm going to use uh, if when you if you purchase our mockups they don't come with the trunk studio logo on it I just it's on there for our branding purposes but um, it won't have that on there at all so Let's say we are, um, these are things I got from free pick. I, these are not designs of mine. I just, um, am using these for the tutorial. So, um, but let's say this is the design that we are going to use, uh, for this listing. Um, literally, uh, I just, this is my design file. This is the actual template that I use for the design. So it's the right size and everything. Um, I will literally just click hold and drag it. So, and it comes in, um, and then you can just either size manually with the arrow, with the uh, corners, or, um, you can use the top part up here. Um, just make sure that this middle part is, uh, clicked and checked for it to link so that it, uh, reduces in proportion and does not distort your image. Okay. So let's do like 7%. Might be a little big. We can do like six point, whoop, six point five. Okay. So what I like to do is um, I use the top edge of this as a guide, and I leave it like right below um, the collar. The top line of this is like right below the collar, and that way I know that because all of my designs I leave two inches below the top. Uh, for spacing because when it's printed, it does not print right up on that collar. There's usually uh, an inch and a half to three inches depending on the design. So um, I leave my designs usually around two inches. Okay. And then from here, it's kind of already set up and resized for you. You can literally just click, hold and drag and it'll pop back in place over here. And then you can, um, you know, re uh, move it around for here. Um, I usually print a little bit higher on the tank tops. It's usually not as low. And then again, same thing, click, hold and drag and just kind of move it into place. So it kind of looks the same, has like the same amount of spacing and then click, hold and drag. And again, if you want to get those, uh, the box back, just do control T as in Tom, and then you can get that back. Uh, and then you can just kind of move it over so it's centered on that space for you and then hit enter to apply it. Okay. So, um, this is kind of the easiest way I found. Um, and then, you know, maybe I'll do, I don't do every listing. I, I'll, I will usually have about three, 
three to four uh, different mock-ups for each color that I use. So if I have, I have, you know, if I'm using peach, I'll have like three or four different mock-ups that I use throughout my store. I won't just use this one over and over and over again. So I might do like, you know, um, if I'm doing new designs, I might do two or three on this one and then, you know, two or three more on a, on a different one. And just so my shop looks uh, it doesn't just look like a repeat over and over and over again of the same things. And then also like some design or some listings, I'll have this as the front picture and maybe this one as the second one. And then the next one I'll have, you know, uh, the peach is the front picture. And then this one is the second one, just to kind of give your, your shop some, um, variety. And it doesn't just look like a repeat. Like I said, over and over and over again, gives it a little bit more of a, a true feel. Um, and then also the mock-ups just kind of stand out more. And sometimes it looks like you'll like it better on this one versus this one. Like it still looks good, but maybe it pops more on this one or, um, you know, all of that. So I usually have all of my listings starting with a t-shirt, not a tank top. Um, but I put both in a listing together and I will also, I've done a video before on that, but I'll do another one, uh, maybe break it down a little bit more to show you how you can do that. So, um, this is pretty much it as far as, um, how you can easily add your designs to a listing when you're doing multiple items. Okay. Thanks.